Welcome to the 23rd Annual International Latino Book Awards Ceremony. Damas y Caballeros, your host for today's event. For the Nonfiction Awards, we have Edward James Olmos. Thank you all for joining us today for the Nonfiction Awards segment of the 2021 International Latino Book Awards. For the Nonfiction Awards, we've got great presenters for the wonderful books we will be honoring. Unidos U.S. CEO Janet Murguia, family history legend Mimi Lozano, Publishers Weekly in Español editor Enrique Parrilla, and National LULAC president Domingo Garcia. And that's just the first part. Please give a warm welcome to our first presenter, Unidos CEO Janet Murguia. Thank you, Eddie. I'm so happy to be here today and be part of the 23rd International Latino Book Awards. I'm Janet Murguia, President and CEO of Unidos US, the largest national Latino civil rights and advocacy organization in the US. For more than 50 years, we've helped open the door to opportunity for Hispanic families in partnership with our network of affiliates, community-based organizations who together serve millions of Latinos and Latinas every day. Also core to our mission is promoting a positive, fair, and accurate picture of our community and the contributions we make to this country. Telling our story is key. That's why I'm glad to be here with you to celebrate the books which have done an outstanding job of telling that Latino story. And now, the awardees. The first category means a lot to me because it's now named for my predecessor and mentor, Raúl Izaguirre. The Raúl Izaguirre, Best Político, Current Affairs Book. Hey Monger, Jean Guerrero. Liderando en Tiempos de la Ley Promesa, Juan Fernando Cruz Torres. Sanbel Diaspora, Patricia Silver. What Were We Thinking? Carlos Lozada. When the Virus Came Calling, Thelma Reina. The gold medal for the Raúl Izaguirre Political Current Affairs book goes to What Were We Thinking? Best Business Book Inclusify, Stephanie Johnson The Likeability Trap Alicia Menendez. The Rack We Build, Lorenzo Gomez III. The gold medal for best business book goes to The Likeability Trap. Best Arts Book, Angel Tarak by Carlos Tarak. Historia de la Caricatura en Colombia. Beatriz González. Jose Montoya. Ella Maria Diaz. The gold medal for best arts book goes to the book Jose Montoya. Hello, International Latino Book Awards. My name is Dr. Ella Maria Diaz, and I'm extremely grateful for the honor of these awards for my completed monograph on Jose Montoya. This is the 12th volume of the Aver uh, series from the Chicano Studies Research Center. I'd like to thank the editorial board. I would like to thank uh, head editor Rebecca Frazier at the CSRC. I would like to thank Tomas Montoya for continued support and access to the Jose Montoya collections at SEMA, the California Ethnic and Multicultural Archives at UC Santa Barbara. And that leads me to also thank recently retired head of the SEMA collection, Salvador Greña, for over two decades of support of my work. I would also like to thank uh, members of the Royal Chicano Air Force who have consistently supported my work over the years. And once again, thanks so much for honoring me this way and for recognizing the art, life, and legacy of Jose Montoya. Now let's hear from Edward James Olmos and the Empowering Latino Futures team. I'm proud to have co-founded what is now Empowering Latino Futures 24 years ago. We've grown a lot since that first book festival in 1997. 
and in total, over 1.4 million people have participated in or been impacted by our efforts. But it takes a lot of energy to carry out the various programs we've created. Now on to my co-founder and co-padre, Kirk Whistler. Thank you, Eddie. First of all, we want to thank great sponsors or partners, as we call them. We cannot survive without you. Major sponsors include Grupo Mex, uh, Amazon Literary Partnership, Los Angeles City College, Scholastic, and the Independent Book Publishers Association. Additional partners include AARP California, Energy Upgrade California, MAC, Route 78 Rotary, Macmillan Publishers, Edward Becerra, Lanthia Publishing, Miracosta College, My Point Credit Union, and National LULAC. Media has always been a key part of my professional life. And here's our 2021 media partners. CSUSB Lead, Diario Las Americas, El Perico, Hoy in Delaware, KPFK, La Noticia, La Oferta, La Prensa Houston, Las Comadres, Latin Heat, Latino 24-7 Media, Latino Lubbock Magazine, National Association of Hispanic Publications, Prensa Arizona, Quad Air Communications, and Unidos U.S. A big thank you to all of them. And we look forward to bringing in more of you in, as sponsors and partners in the future. Now on to Kathy Diaz, our VP of Authors. Thank you. As an author, honored to be an award-winning author, I know the ups and downs writers go through. So I'd like to invite you to check out our author programs. They include the International Association of Latino Authors, which is our membership program. The International Latino Book Awards that has honored close to 3,500 books since its founding in 1998. In addition to the gold, silver, and bronze award-winning books that we are recognizing today, this year we added honorable mentions because there are so many quality books by and about Latinos. We also have the Latino Books into Movies Awards that started in 2010 and is designed to increase Latino presence on television and in the movies. For more about these programs, go to www.latinobookawards.org. Now, here's Empowering Latino Futures Vice President of Education, Edward Becerra. Education is the gateway to finding a career you will love, not just a job you are doing. Our programs include our Empowering Students program, which has produced 182,000 copies of the National Latino and American Indian Scholarship Directory and is currently raising funds to take to the web our database of nearly a billion dollars in diverse scholarships so we can serve even more. Education Begins in the Home, the program I founded in 2015, focuses strictly on North County San Diego and has given away over 157,000 free books to underserved children via our over 500 community events. Now on to Elves, Director of Programs, Ana Patino. In 1997, Elves' first program was the Latino Book and Family Festival that we held at Los Angeles Convention Center with only four months planning. Since then, we have held 69 festivals in 10 different communities around the U.S. Combined attendance has been over 900,000 people. You can catch our current festival, our second virtual one, at lbff.us. Here's Lisa Montes, Elf Secretary, to speak about volunteers. Volunteers are the glue of many nonprofits, and the over 350 great volunteers we work with are key to our successes and impact. You can become more involved with our programs at www.empoweringlatinofutures.org forward slash volunteer. Now on to Elf's treasure, Martin Valdez. As someone who has spent many years of my life involved with Nonprofits, I know that without money, programs do not happen. Empowering Latino Futures needs additional support to fulfill the mission of our various programs. Please consider making a donation, however small or large that you can afford, by going to www.empoweringlatinofutures.org. 
partners. Thank you for helping us better service the communities we work with. An insightful section of Nonfiction Book Awards is history. We as Latinos have an extremely rich history and it's so wonderful and powerful to understand it. I feel very honored to welcome our International Latino Book Award legend, Mimi Lozano. Thank you. Thank you so much, Edward. It's great to be here with you and to celebrate Latino literature. Latinos have a, a long history uh, in the long presence of the United States, from our indigenous roots to those newly arrived. We are racially and culturally diverse with many stories to tell. So let's get on with the stories to tell. The Mimi Lozano Best Family History Book. Leaves in the Wind, Hojas al Viento, Ricardo Suárez Gardner. Little Joe, No Llore Chingón, Emma González. Pulido del Barrio Libre, Reinaldo Santa Cruz. The first one is the gold medal for the Mimi Lozano, Mimi Lozano Family History Book. And that's going to Little Joe. No Llore Chingón. Best History Book Apostles of Change, Felipe Hinojosa I Know Where the Bodies Are Buried, Carlos Melendres We Made San Diego, Maria Garcia Okay, and the second one, the gold medal for Best History Book, goes to We Made San Diego. It's a wonderful collection of individual little stories. I consider my book, We Made San Diego, a start to recording our history in this county. I have hope others will take the lead and write their family history and their contributions. Es importante entendernos a nosotros mismos como individuos y qué mejor manera que a través de la lectura. Me gustaría dar la bienvenida a Enrique Parrilla, que viene de España. Editor de Publishing Weekly en español, Enrique, bienvenido. Muchas gracias, Eduard. Es un auténtico placer compartir este escenario contigo desde la ciudad de Sevilla, en España. Estoy a unos pocos metros de lo que era la cárcel real donde Cervantes estuvo preso y desde donde se empezó a concebir el Quijote. Qué mejor sitio para, para celebrar la cultura hispana y, y la, la cultura de los libros que este marco tan incomparable. Desde Publishers Weekly es para nosotros un orgullo y un privilegio y un auténtico placer ayudar a bibliotecarios, a libreros, a lectores, descubrir nuevas voces de toda América Latina, de Estados Unidos, de España y nuevos libros y nuevas ideas en español. Es una tremenda responsabilidad y es algo con lo que disfrutamos día a día. Muchas gracias a ti y a toda la organización por permitirnos ser parte de este evento tan especial. Y sin más, pasamos a la lista de los nominados en esta categoría de no ficción. Libro más inspirador de no ficción. El médico de los pobres, Hernán de Becky, ilustrado por Omar Cruz. Ese instante, Silvia Kerem. Y la medalla de oro en la categoría de libro más inspirador va para el libro Ese instante. Me siento honradísima de ser finalista del International Latino Book Awards por ese instante, un libro de personas comunes que supieron reconstruirse a partir de la tragedia. Muchas gracias. Mejor biografía. Gracias Maradona. Diego Barceló Larrán. Julio César García Valencia. Obra Selecta. Hernán Alejandro Olano García. La medalla de oro para la categoría de Mejor Biografía va a Gracias Maradona. Mejor Autobiografía. Cicatrices. Marta Antillón Fernández. El libro de Rosy. Rosaira Pablo Cruz y Julie Switzer Colasso. 
la medalla de oro para la categoría de mejor autobiografía va para cicatrices. Muchísimas gracias. De verdad es que estoy muy emocionada. Me siento muy afortunada de haber recibido este premio, este reconocimiento a cicatrices, que lo llevo en el corazón y que ahora está en el corazón de muchos lectores. Mejor libro de autoayuda y superación personal. Detrás del arco iris, la superación. Miriam Goodnick. Ponte en modo desk. Marta Freire Uveda. Y finalmente, la medalla de oro en la categoría de mejor libro de autoayuda y superación personal va para Detrás del arco iris, la superación. Hola, muchas gracias al jurado por darle este premio a Detrás del arco iris, la superación. Es todo un honor para mí recibir este reconocimiento del Latino International Book Awards. Quiero agradecerle especialmente a Samarcanda del Grupo Lantia su apoyo y me gustaría que, entre palabras, párrafos, puntos y comas, nos descubramos en Detrás del Arco Iris la superación. Mejor libro espiritual Nueva Era Libérate, encuentra la paz. Fernán Makarov. La medalla de oro en la categoría de mejor libro espiritual va para el libro Libérate, encuentra la paz. Buenas a todos, ¿cómo están? Enviando este pequeño testimonio por si el libro sale premiado, muchas gracias. Y si no sale premiado, muchas gracias igual. <ríe> Mucho amor para todos. Felicidades a todos los ganadores. Recordad que el trabajo de un escritor empieza cuando empieza a llegar el reconocimiento. Así que enhorabuena y a trabajar. Os queda lo más importante por delante. Un saludo a todos y muchas gracias otra vez a Edward y a toda la organización. Over the last 92 years, Lulek has done some amazing things for Latinos in the United States of America. I'd like to introduce Domingo Garcia, certainly one of the hardest working presidents LULAC has ever had. Thank you, Eddie, for those kind words. As you know, LULAC is the nation's largest and oldest Latino uh, civil rights organization. Been around since 1929. A lot of people say, we're the viejitos, el abuelito. No, we just happen to be that year, many years young. Uh, and we're continuing to fight for civil rights and to recognize all the acknowledgements and the support that Jose and Maria have done to make America great, especially in literature. Now, here's some inspiring nonfiction books. Most inspirational nonfiction book English. Flying Free, Cecilia Aragon. Nothing General About It, Maurice Bernard. The Scar of a Miracle, Monica Gonzalez. The gold medal for most inspirational nonfiction book in English goes to Flying Free. Congratulations. I am so incredibly excited to be honored by the International Latino Book Awards. And I want to thank my wonderful family, Dave, Diana, and Ken, and all the people who helped me make my book, Flying Free, a reality. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Best Biography English. Jose Montoya, Ella Maria Diaz. The Latinaris La Familia, Little Joe y Más, Ramon Hernández. The gold medal for best biography in English goes to Jose Montoya. Felicidades. Hello, International Latino Book Awards. My name is Dr. Ella Maria Diaz, and I'm extremely grateful for the honor of these awards for my completed monograph on Jose Montoya. This is the 12th volume of the Aver uh, series from the Chicano Studies Research Center. I'd like to thank the editorial board. I would like to thank uh, head editor Rebecca Frazier at the CSRC. I would like to thank Tomas Montoya for continued support and access to the Jose Montoya collections at SEMA, the California Ethnic and Multicultural Archives at UC Santa Barbara, 
And that leads me to also think recently retired head of the SEMA collection, Salvador Greña, for over two decades of support of my work. I would also like to thank uh, members of the Royal Chicano Air Force who have consistently supported my work over the years. And once again, thanks so much for honoring me this way and for recognizing the art, life, and legacy of Jose Montoya. Best Autobiography English My Time to Speak, Ilia Calderon Nothing General About It, Maurice Bernard with Susan Black Piercing the Cloud, Jaime Pineda Unforgetting, Roberto Lobato The gold medal for Best Autobiography in English goes to Unforgetting. What an album. Best Self-Transformation Book English Tafoya Toro, Three Years of Fear, Lorenzo Gomez III Thriving in the Fight, Denise Padin Colasso The gold medal for Best Self-Transformation Book in English goes to Thriving in the Fight. Yay! Thank you so much. This is dedicated to the women, black and brown women, who are doing all work in our communities. Keep on thriving in the fight, my sisters. Best Sports Book Chasing Excellence, Pat Melgares John Ram, Señalado por los Dioses, David Durán y Alejandro Rodríguez the gold medal for best sports book goes to Chasing Excellence. Thank you. Echele ganas. Thank you to the ILBA for this wonderful honor. Muchas gracias a todos. I am so grateful for the support of U.S. Olympic coach Joe I. Vigil. This book celebrates the spirit of Vigilantes all across the world. God bless you all. Now we have some entertainment for you. Be sure to stick around because we still have Altamed CEO Castulo de la Rocha, Chef Daisy Martinez, and a Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Nicholas Canellos, and legendary author Victor Villasenor coming up. But first, Gina Chavez, an Austin native, internationally proclaimed Latin pop artist who's redefining Latin music in Texas and beyond. Here's the 12 time Austin Music Award winner with the song Ella. Sus manos están atadas. Su voz no puede más. No sabe a dónde ir. Ni qué hacer. Esta realidad No sabe a dónde ir Ni qué hacer Le quitaron las ganas de hablar El silencio tratan de comprar A la fuerza ellos quieren callar En contra de eso y más Nunca se rindió Vamos a 
calor para decirlo Hasta la iglesia se calla también Pero no tenemos tiempo que perder Fueron muchas las que lucharon ayer Por las que están y las que vendrán We're honored to have Castulo de la Rocha, CEO of Altamed, with 300,000 patients across their 24 medical centers, 16 dental facilities, and eight PACE sites around Southern California, the largest federally qualified health center in the USA. Here's Castulo. Thank you, Eddie, for the introduction and for all you do. I am proud to be here on behalf of Altamed Health Services, a federally qualified health center providing medical, dental, and senior services across Los Angeles and Orange counties. We are proud to support children literacy through the Reach Out and Read program, as well as the arts and access to higher education in our communities. I am privileged to announce several key nonfiction book awards. Best Health Book and Wellness Book. Choose to Prevail, Sandy Rodriguez. El Método Clean 7, Alejandro Junger. I am not sick. I don't need help. Javier Amador. The gold medal for best health and wellness book goes to Choose to Prevail. Thank you for this award. I wanted readers of my book to feel more confident, more at peace, and with more faith in the future. And after getting this award, I personally feel more confident, more at peace, and with more faith in the future. So thank you. Best Parenting Family Book Disciplina con Dignidad Siete Días a la Semana Jorge Dueñas Vega Cambia de Opinión Ángeles Casas Robles The Gold Medal for Best Parenting and Family Book goes to Disciplina con Dignidad Siete Días a la Semana Quiero dar las gracias a mi familia, a mi esposa, a mis hijos y toda la gente que me ha acompañado en los talleres, la que todo el tiempo ha estado haciendo preguntas y me ha dirigido un poco mejor. Este premio es de todos ustedes. Así que, gracias. Best Religious Book The Scar of a Miracle, Mónica González The Spiritual Evolution of Margarito Bautista Elisa Eastwood Pulido. The gold medal for best religious book goes to Scar of a Miracle. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Mónica González. Quiero agradecer al International Latino Book Awards, al Comité Organizador y de Selección y a Kirk por unir todas nuestras voces. Muchísimas gracias. Best Nonfiction Multi Author. Querencia, edited by Vanessa Fonseca Chávez, Levi Romero. We Are Not Dreamers, Lacey Abrego and Genevieve Negron González. The gold medal for best nonfiction multi-author goes to We Are Not Dreamers. 
We are so thrilled about this honor and we want to especially thank the scholars who contributed chapters to this book. They are Joel Sati, Grecia Mondragon, Gabriel Cabrera, Gabriela Monico, Gabriela Cruz, Carolina Valdivia, Liliana Ramirez, Audrey Silvestre, Lucia Leon, and Katy Maldonado. We'd also like to thank Gisela Posado and Alejandra Mejia from Duke University Press, who believed in the importance of this project from the very beginning. Finally, we want to recognize all of the undocumented young people, their families, and their communities who have transformed the political landscape through activism, organizing, advocacy, and writing. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations to our recipients. I am so excited to welcome Daisy Martinez, a three-time award-winning author in the ILBA, I-L-B-A cookbook category. Daisy, so happy to have you here. Hola, Edward. I feel so honored for that beautiful, warm introduction. And I'm absolutely thrilled to be presenting at this fabulous, incredible award ceremony. Best Cookbook. Chicano Eats, Esteban Castillo. Herencia Cookbook, Bernadette Molina. The gold medal for best cookbook goes to Chicano Eats. Hi, everybody. My name is Esteban, author of Chicano Eats. And I really just want to take a quick second to thank my readers. It is through the community that we've built and their endless support that I have had the privilege to write and develop my very first cookbook. So this is for you guys. Thank you so much. Best gift book. Entre líneas, Carmela Escobar. The Legacy Journal, Albert Monreal Kiwis. The gold medal for best gift book goes to, are you ready? Entre líneas, yay! Best travel book, American Tacos, Jose Roland. Havana 500 Anniversary, Andres Rodriguez. The gold medal for best travel book goes to American Tacos! Ole! <laughs> Thank you to everyone that made this book possible and to the community who it's for. Best Women's Issues Book Seis Mujeres Seis Fernando Repiso Break the Good Girl Mythem, Mayo Molfino. I Am This Truth, Sunny Hustin. La Mujer en la Historia, María Antonia del Bravo. The gold medal for Best Women's Issues book goes to I Am These Truths. Congratulations! Hi, I'm Edward Benitez with uh, Harvard Collins Española, and on behalf of Sunny Hostin, I would like to thank the International Latino Book Award for this wonderful honor for her book, I Am These Truths. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me and allowing me to be a part of this beautiful ceremony. While the U.S. Latino market today is served by several thousand small book publishers, and while over a hundred of those publishers have been publishing for five years or more, no meaningful independent press has been around as long or produced anywhere near the volume that Arte Publico Press has since 1979. Arte Publico and its sister publication, Pinata Press, has produced over 600 books and changed the face of Latino publishing. All this 
was the creation of publisher Nicholas Canelos. Arte Publico was the original publishers of Sandra Cisneros' The House on Mongo Street, Victor Villasenor's Reign of Gold, and many, many more landmark books. We all owe Nicholas a huge debt of gratitude, and that's why Empowering Latino Futures is honoring him with a Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm very grateful for this award and for this recognition, not just for me, but for the whole press and our managers. We have a wonderful set of managers that have been with us for more than 20 years, are real experts in the field that make us the largest and the oldest Latino publishing house in the country. Uh, assistant publisher Marina Tristan, Carolina Villarruel is in charge of our whole research program to bring back all of the written culture of Latinos in the United States from the colonial period to the present. Gabriela Baeza Ventura, who does the yeoman's work of being the executive editor and taking the books from the hands of the authors into the final stages. And our business manager, Nelly Gonzalez, they and their teams have just been superb. I often get the accolades, but it's they who are the day-to-day workers and visionaries that make Arte Publico what it has become. Is what's recognizing Arte Publico and and all of our work. Uh, So thank you so much for this recognition. Empowering Latino Futures Lifetime Achievement Award, Nicolás Canelos Arte Publico Press's trailblazing has changed how Latinos are viewed. And that is part of our mission. I've known the next presenter for many decades and have worked with him on several projects. I sincerely hope we will eventually see Reign of Gold as a mini series. Coming to us from Casa Villa Senor in Oceanside, California, we have International Latino Book Award legend, Victor Villa Senor. Eddie, I'm glad to be here with you. Books are important. And I love what you've been doing for all these years of bringing of books to the consciousness of nuestros Latinos. When I was growing up, there were no books written by Latinos. It was all about Americanos, about Americans. And so we looked down on ourselves. We were taught at school to look down on us, to think of us as inferior, as stupid Mexicans. And now with all the books that have been written We have changed that. I have kids come to me and say, your book saved my life. I could identify with with you and your family. And, and, And then also other people come to me and say, I was ashamed of of my abuelita because she only spoke Spanish, no English. And the more educated I got, the more ashamed I was. And then it was the Americans that got me to read your book, Reign of Gold. And I read it. And now I'm so proud of being a Latina, and I'm so proud of my grandmother. And this, and I read the book to her, and she said, "That's what happened to us. That's what we crossing the border. That's how it was in the old days here with all the racism." We have our own stories that anchor us now in be having faith in each other. Thank you, Eddie, for what you've done and what you're doing. The Victor Villaseñor Best Latino Focus Nonfiction Book Award, English. America's Bilingual Century, Steve Levine. Intersectional Chicana Feminism, Aida Hurtado. Of Love and Papers, Laura Enriquez. Postcards from a Post Mexican, Álvaro Ramírez. And I'd like to introduces to the gold medal for Victor Villasenor's Latino Focus Nonfiction Book, English, goes to America's Bilingual Century. Wow, gracias a todos. This recognition makes me all the more committed, not only to my own bilingual life, but more importantly, to America's bilingual and biliterate future. Thank you. The Victor Villaseñor Best Latino Focus Nonfiction Book Award, Spanish or Bilingual.
Clamor Chicago, Jesús del Toro, Belhú Sanabria, Marcela Cartagena. Yo soy estas verdades, Suni Hustin. I'd like to announce the gold medal for Victor Villaseñor's Latino Focus Nonfiction Book, Spanish, goes to Clamor Chicago. Hello. I am Jesus Del Toro, director of La Raza newspaper in Chicago. The award that our book received today recognizes the ingenuity of our reporters, but also the resiliency and strength of the Chicago Hispanic community. Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you for attending our nonfiction section of the ILBA Awards. We hope to see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific for poetry, translation, mariposa, Imas Awards. Then again at 4 p.m. for our closeout with the Fiction Awards. You can keep up with these and much more of our book programming at www.latinobookawards.org. Thank you so much for tuning in and a huge thank you to our partners. See you at the next awards. Hello. We would like to personally invite you to join us next year for the 2022 International Latino Book Awards. These awards have celebrated almost 3,500 authors and publishers since 1998. The best of books by and about Latinos. The award spans multiple categories, including children's books, adult books, and nonfiction. There will also be fiction, poetry, translation, design, and my favorite, best first book. Books can be submitted in English, Spanish, or Portuguese. We hope you are one of the new and next generation of winners. Apply online at www.latinobookawards.org. And we'll see you in 2022. Thank you.